Hey you guys, welcome back to another video with the Canning Nana. So today we are going to be chicken, canning chicken stew. And right now I am browning the chicken uh, before I put it in the uh, jars. And I'm gonna take you along and show you the whole process. Um, some of it is going to be a little bit um, uh, no sound. That is by choice, but I will show you every step of the way. So here I have the blanched and cut up celery, onions that are not blanched, and the blanched and cut up carrots that are going to be in. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be layering this in the jar and then putting hot water um, that I'm making bouillon with better than bouillon chicken mix in to get it a really nice flavor and that's the reason I'm cooking the chicken first. This is what I use right here, better than bouillon. It's organic with reduced sodium, so it's not going to be too salty. And this is the way I'm heating my water, is with the electric kettle. That is one of our giveaways. And it just stopped. So I'm gonna pour this in a pot and then add some more water. I'm gonna show you how easy this works, because I love this. So we fill it in up to the max line right here which is 1.2 liters right there you close the lid and you hit this little switch right here oops and make sure it stays down and watch how fast this boils this is a great for canning vegetables with because it heats so quickly it's ready so fast look at this look at how fast and it lights up this pretty blue color this is awesome, you guys. This is perfect for making tea or instant soups, ramen, bouillon, anything you need hot water for fast. Cocoa, this is gonna be amazing in the winter when it gets cold here for cocoa. Um, I have pero, which is like coffee. I'm gonna add creamer to it. Um, tastes like coffee, but it's not coffee. It's a, uh, oh, a uh, green product. It's really good though. And almost done. This will be the longest part of the video, you guys. I just want to show you how fast this thing really heats up because it is a giveaway item. to take about two minutes I think for a boil. It's got a hot plate on the bottom and then the whole um, carafe just lifts off. Really cool. You guys don't have fun I'm gonna link it in my description box um, probably not until tomorrow because I need to make dinner after I put all this together and put it in the canner um, so you guys can check back tomorrow and I'll have some Amazon links for you to check out these there are different brands um, I had one that I bought and I had to send it back this is the better brand um, and it's it's really good go. Almost done. So about two minutes to full boil. And that conveniently shuts itself off.
there we go. Rolling boil. Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy this is to lift off. I'm just going to turn it a little bit. And you just lift it. And we're going to take it over here. And pour it in the pot. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to add the better than bouillon here. And just make a nice chicken stock since this water is boiling hot it all I'm just going to put it in a jar in the in the uh, refrigerator not can it uh, well maybe I will can it I'm canning everything else so okay let me stir this and I'll get right back to you and we'll fill our jars okay so there is our chicken stock already made from better than bouillon no added salt so I don't add any more salt to this I did add some pepper to the chicken when I was cooking it but that's it and I didn't even cook it all the way I just kind of browned it so now we're gonna put the jars together. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys the whole process. We're gonna do this really quickly. I'm gonna put it in the canner and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like afterwards in a separate video. Okay, so what we wanna do is put some of the chicken in first and we want to do that to each jar evenly. So I'm not even gonna use that right now. Okay, so these are all brand new cur jars, or ball jars, I'm sorry, these are brand new ball jars. So this is what we're gonna do. I'll show you guys. Maybe it would be better if I did use that. So these are gonna be individual portions. So that if somebody wants a can of soup in the winter or whatever, it's starting to get cool here, um, you can just, or we can just, grab a jar of chicken soup already made, ready to go, and if we want to, we could even add uh, noodles to it, which we normally do, or we can make a chicken pot pie out of this, uh, which is very good too. So I'm just doing like a maybe two tablespoons of chicken in a jar, and then I'll see how much we have left. Let's these out of the way. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in those as well. Okay, I'm gonna finish filling these with chicken and I will bring you guys back. Okay, so I have filled eight pint jars of chicken. So now we're gonna go through here and I'm gonna show you just a few jars so you guys don't get bored watching me. This is how I do it. So you take a handful, the next thing you wanna do is the onions. So a handful of onions and then a handful of celery and then a handful of carrots and then you wanna push them down. So I use my bubbler to push these down um, as much as I can right now. When I add the broth to it, um, it's going to uh, go all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna to have to debubble. And then as this cooks, the chicken is still gonna make more broth because it's not already completely cooked. So, you have a pretty looking jar, and what I really like to do with this is take a couple jars, 
and thicken it with either some tomato powder, some mashed potato mix, uh, you know, like the flakes, mashed potato flakes, um, and then some cornstarch and make a gravy out of it and make a chicken pot pie. All you have to do is add some peas while you're doing this, some potatoes if you'd like, and it comes out perfect. So what I'm going to do right here is I did just a little bit below an inch headspace here. And there you go. So then we're gonna fill it with our chicken broth. So I'm gonna put that here. And you can you don't have to use the, the better than bouillon, of course. Um, you can add your own chicken broth to it. And I'll show you what I mean by debubbling. So that's a major step you cannot forget. Otherwise, you will have major problems in your pressure canner. So at first, you want to fill this to an inch of headspace. So let's fill one more jar with some onions, a little bit less onions this time, some celery, and everything is pliable because I blanched it first. So if you don't blanch it um, before putting all this in, it's going to be really difficult to maneuver your vegetables in. So these are nowhere near cooked all the way. Um, but they are nice and pliable and it can be pushed down as much as you can so that you can add some more. If you want to add some more onions now, you can. That's perfectly fine. You will find when you add the broth, because you, this is chicken soup, you guys, so you want the broth in there. You want a lot of broth. So um, you will find that when you add the broth in and you let it sit here for a couple minutes, which is what I'm doing, I am, um, I'm not debubbling yet because the hot, uh, the hot bouillon is uh, further making the vegetables soft. So let's do one more. Very, very simple. This is going to pressure pan at 90 minutes. Um, no, the vegetables will not be mushy when they come out. They will be very good. Um, they, they hold their shape really well and um, they're just like a canned soup. Well, I can't even say that because I think they're a little bit better than a canned soup, you guys. A lot better because for one, you're not, this, is, this jar is not full of a bunch of sodium. Um, I use low sodium, better than bouillon. Um, and it comes out so much better. So let's do some onions some celery and some carrots and I probably will have some left over here um, because I do want to do a couple jars of uh, chicken well maybe not I guess I can cut some more chicken and we can do it that way <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of the jars and I will bring you back and just so you know ahead of time I cut up about two cups each of onions, celery, and carrots. Okay, so here we have eight pints of ready-to-go chicken soup. So what I'm going to do is finish adding the broth, and as you can see, can you see these two right here? Okay, I'm gonna show you how I debubble these, and C, press the canner, or the, uh, the debubbler, all the way down, and make room. I like to go down the sides, make sure all of the air bubbles are out and that all of the food, all of the vegetables are still underneath the broth. So I'm gonna do that with this one. That's what the debubbler is for. So if you don't debubble your jars, um, you run the risk of having air bubbles in the jar, which can cause um, siphoning or it can cause overflowing um, or over full jars and uh, it could pop the lid off or even worse, uh, bottom out your jars. So that's one of the reasons you wanna have them underneath there like that and have an inch of headspace on either jar or all, all of your jars. Okay, let's fill the rest and I will show you how to do this. So I have my eight jars full of chicken soup and I have two jars, probably gonna need three. Um, I'm going to fill with just raw chicken. I'm just going to raw pack it um, because all of this is going into the canner, just a warm canner. 
think I'm only going to get, well, maybe I will get three pints. Let's see. This is probably about three pounds of chicken. Oh, I hope it's not any more than that. That can actually go there. Kind of got to play Tetris with your chicken. Because I am, I think I'm only going to fill two jars with this chicken. So when you're raw packing chicken, you want to make sure it gets all the way in there, all the way to the bottom. Make sure you have clean hands because you're touching your food. So actually I can get a couple more pieces in there. Probably not much because, well, let's see. Inch and a half is the new rule. That's about an inch and a half down because I do want these covered. Um, I think I've got two pieces of left. This is all I have, you guys, two pieces. So when I make my chicken chili tomorrow, those will go in the chicken chili. No big deal. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little teeny bit of garlic to each of these jars. Come on, get off of there. Because I love the taste of garlic. And that will add a really good flavor to the chicken soup. Um, especially if we wind up making some pot pie out of this, which I probably will. And I think I will add a little bit of the garlic to the regular chicken as well. Just a little bit more. Okay. Well, if I did, it's going to have extra. Okay. So I'm going to lid back on my preserved garlic. Okay, so we are going to wipe our jars rims clean with some vinegar on a napkin. All the way around. It's a second chance to check for any cracks or little divots in your jars, which you do not want. Okay. So I'm doing the raw chicken with the chicken soup because it all processes at 90 minutes because of the meat in it. So anything with meat, you want to process in a pressure canner for 90 minutes uh, or 75 minutes. I am so sorry. 75 minutes for pints and 90 minutes for quarts. I, I had 90 minutes on the brain because I was going to do this in quarts, but I decided not to. So going to put all the lids on these and then put them in the jar in the canner yep still having brain fog you guys it's getting better okay all of these on here and you just do the jars finger tight any more than that. If they're loose when they come out of the canner, you can always tighten these just a little bit if you need to. Okay, so there you go. There is the chicken soup in a jar. It's all ready to go. As soon as it cans, it'll be processed. It'll be cooked completely. Um, all of the bacteria and the enzymes, mold, yeast, everything will be taken out because we're pressure canning at 240 degrees for a steady 75 minutes. And the same with the raw pack chicken. It's all in the jar. It's going to make its own juice. The chicken will shrink as it cooks. So you want to really pack these jars um, to with your meat, with any kind of meat. Um, they will shrink. You don't have to put any added uh, liquid in here unless you pre-cook your chicken or you pre-brown it as I did. It doesn't make as much juice when you do that. When you do it like this, um, it makes its own juice and it will all compact and um, make its own juice all pretty much all the way up to, uh, this one should, all the way up to the one inch mark because I filled it right at one and a quarter. Um, there you go. 
So yes, I have some fat in there too. Um, these are chicken legs that I'm using. Um, I haven't done this in a while, but it'll come out really good. So 75 minutes for uh, pints, 90 minutes for quarts. And I will put that in the description box because I think I said 90 minutes several times and that's not correct. It's 75 minutes for pints, 90 minutes for quarts. So um, I will show you the end result when it's all done later on. This is so easy, so versatile, and like I said, ready to go chicken soup or ready to go pot pie. All you have to do is thicken it up and put it in a uh, shell um, or pastry shell, a, a pie shell with a cover and you have instant dinner. And for me and my husband, we'll probably use two of these and have leftovers because these are really packed, you guys. Makes a great lunch, camping, hiking, boating, anything you need to uh, bring some food along for. When this is fully processed, you can also eat it right out of the jar. So if you have a portable stove or anything like that where you're camping or you're just going on a picnic with a little Coleman stove, bring along some chicken soup, um, have a little picnic at the beach or in the mountains. So, so many things. And look at how nice that looks. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope this inspires you to make some uh, chicken soup or uh, just pressure can um, anything, you know, some meat and things to have on the shelf. Um, things are getting a little bit scarce so um, we're gonna do what we can do and i'm gonna help all of you guys achieve whatever it is that you want to learn um, regarding pressure canning and water bath canning um, and remember our beginning series for new canners is coming up but it's not just for new canners it's for experienced canners as well um, i've been doing this for over 30 years and i am still learning um, I started with jams and jellies when I was, gosh, 19 years old, um, and then stopped canning for a while and then started again, and uh, so, and I would not stop again. Um, this is just, it's, it's so easy, and you know what goes in your food. You know exactly what goes in your chicken soup. If you buy something off the shelf, do you know, have you read the ingredients of those, <laughs> you know? Read the ingredients of that chicken soup, you guys. So much sodium, so many chemicals and stuff. Um, really watch what you put into your body to have the longest lifespan that you possibly can and be as healthy as you can. So with that said, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. There are lots of good videos coming. There is a huge appreciation uh, giveaway for my subscribers, so please subscribe. You have to be a subscriber to be in order to win. Um, there is a canner on the line. There is an electric kettle on the line. Um, and we just reached 7,500 subscribers, you guys. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. We, we did it. I'm going to be doing a separate video on that. And uh, there's going to be another giveaway coming uh, probably at the beginning of November. So... Um, in, and I had said that that giveaway is going to have a dehydrator in it. So, um, because I'm so appreciative of all of you guys. And um, you'll hear more about that video later on. Um, I am going to do a word of the day, I think, on this one. And it's going to be um, chicken soup. So, uh, today will be the last word of the day. So, make sure that you go back and, and uh, watch all of my videos from September through today, uh, August 12th to in order to win you want to comment in the comment section the word of the day you want to like the video share the video and you have to be subscribed in order to win um, so if you're not subscribed by today um, and get all those videos done uh, by tomorrow by say tomorrow by noon um, ish then you don't have a chance to win this giveaway but you will for the next giveaway so just keep watching there'll be lots of words of the day um i may extend the giveaway just by a day only because i didn't get the word out in time because this is going to be a live stream giveaway you do have to be present to win next month for the dehydrator giveaway you will not be present you will not have to be present to win 
um, but you will need to send in an entry. So um, I'm gonna make, make it, try to make it a little bit more fair to everybody because I know there's people that work and that can't be here. So um, watch my community page, watch for a video notifying you of when the giveaway is going to be and stay tuned you guys. Word of the day, don't forget to comment below in this section. And any questions that you have on canning, um, please put them in the section, in the comment section below. You can also always email me at thecanningnana at gmail.com with any questions and I will be sure to print them out and go over them when we start our beginning uh, canning series. Thank you again and stay tuned for the chicken chili recipe for Croctober, um, that I, the collaboration that I'm a part of and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.